Okay, I'm with you. Yep, I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. Really? Uh, okay. I don't know what the. This is them. This is them. I'm, I'm at the He's backup. Done. At the backup. There's still one on the stairs. Escape from Tarkov has wiped, resetting everyone's progress and introducing a new map, new guns, and a long list of tweaks and changes. For many, the infancy of each wipe is regarded as the best time to play as everyone is set to fight on an even playing field. There are usually tons of extra players, meaning more fights, and because no one has a mountain of rubles in their stash, each raid feels more intense, as every death can have big consequences. Ugh. Fuck! My plan was to get in and play as much as I possibly could for at least the first week or so, and this is how it went. Once the update was done downloading, I logged in and began creating my character. I chose Bear for the home field advantage, and as is customary, I inspected all of the traders' wares, picked up my quests, and began creating my first kit. A lot of people, usually including myself, try to unlock Yeager in their first raid, but this wipe would be different for me as I was itching to get into the new map, Streets of Tarkov. I was a little worried about potential performance issues, so I didn't want to risk my best gear right away. In the end, I settled on this light kit and jumped straight in. And so, my first raid of the new wipe began. I immediately felt the poor frame rate, so after looting a bag and taking in my surroundings, I hid in a small room to tweak some of my settings. I didn't know what to change, so I ended up leaving everything as it was. I decided to hunt down the nearby scavs to get a second weapon and hopefully some other basic gear. I moved upstairs to clear the immediate area before looting my kill. I took as much as I could from the dead scavs before pushing farther into the building. I had a good scare from the sudden gunshots, but once I realized it wasn't at me, I moved forward to investigate. As I got to the end of the hall, I could hear someone else creeping around. I didn't hear or see anyone else, so I quickly looted my kill. At this point, I had to think about finding my way out of the map, as I had no idea where my exits were or even where I was, so it would likely take extra time to escape. I moved down to the ground floor and ran outside, where I bumped into another PMC who was in the same boat. Yo, bro, what's up? Yo, how's it going? Hold up, hold up. Let me get my mic closer to me. Nah, dude, I'm I'm playing this completely blind. This is my first raid. I don't even know where we are right now. Broski, um, fuck, bro. I'm down to team up if you are. We yeah, can. Right. I, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I gotta go to dinner in like four minutes, so I'm really I'm really trying to find an extra. Here. Yeah. All right. Let's let's run around here. I'm I'm a. Uh, can I step out? I, I don't know. I don't know where you're at. 
What's up? Was that you fighting all the scavs and stuff out here? Uh, I shot a scav with like an SKS, but there's some like chatted out motherfuckers here. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotcha. Some real cheese stuff people, you know? Yeah. Some real creatures. And just like that, an unlikely but beautiful friendship began. My new buddy had a lead on an exit, okay, so I eagerly yeah. followed him. like right to this door right here for a second i thought he was leading me into a trap but luckily that was uh, not the yeah. case it wasn't a viable exit though so we continued on oh maybe there's something down here i have a like a crane extract i almost got sniped i got you yeah the crane was when i figured i would be able to well not necessarily fine but i would notice it you know This feels like it would be one, though. Maybe for scavs. All seemed hopeless as we were lost in this unfamiliar urban jungle, but then a ray of hope shined down upon us. Yo, there's a crane over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm following you. Yeah, inside the house. I'll check this gate over here too. Things took a turn for the worst. I suddenly had a feeling that the two of us were no longer alone. I feel like I hear something. Like to the right. Yo, bro, what's up? You're just some fuck, you're dead, all right. And so, just like that, my life had ended. It had been a fun first raid, though. For now, I planned on heading to Woods to grab Jaeger's letter, but I vowed to come back to streets soon. Because I have the EOD version of the game, I had access to an SV-98 and some Tier 4 armor. This Woods raid would be important, so I invested some of my best gear and went in. I had a great spawn to grab the letter and run, but a momentary brush with death deterred me. After being almost killed off spawn, I chose to climb up the mountain to get a bird's eye view on the forest below. I missed what should have been a couple of easy snipes, so I wound up trying to kill time by attacking the sniper scav and looting the bunker up on the mountain before moving down to grab the letter. Dog, don't kill me. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay, yay. Hey, hey. I thought you were camping this shit. Pistol, All right, worry. I've got my pistol out. Right. I'll just go around you. Dog, I'm fine. I'm chilling. All right. Do you need anything? I'm down. I'm down to chill. If you're. One second. One second. I need. I need one thing real quick. All um, right. My extract is uh, Ruaf Gates uh, UN Roadblock North Northern UN Roadblock. Yeah. Do you need help with where to go? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I can't remember which one it's called, but like, look the, like, see the, this direction here? Which one's here? this way? There's one this way. That's, which one's that? I think that's UN Roadblock, I want to say. But you, you, all there's right, definitely right, one in that, like, corner over there, that way. Okay. Um, which one are you got? Uh, outskirts, so I have to go across the, uh, the whole, oh, like, map. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is my seventh white, bro. I just, I cannot remember. Uh, nice. I get you. Yeah, best of luck to you. And so, after my nervous interaction, I began my long run to Xville.
Luckily, I made it out safely, so this wound up being a big win. Briefly, I just want to say you may notice throughout the video that my visual settings will change from time to time, and with the new update, I've had to tweak some things, and I've also played with my post effects as well. So if you have any questions about them or about things like gun builds, please feel free to ask about it in the comments and I'll do my best to help. On top of that, I would love to hear some feedback from you as constructive criticism will help me make better videos in the future. Thank you and let's get back to the rest of the video. That was my last solo raid of day one. I know, kind of underwhelming, but I had several friends I wanted to play with and one of them had actually just jumped on. He hasn't played the game in quite a while, so we were both excited to jump back into things. We planned on grinding through a lot of the starter tasks, so we had a long night ahead of us. So far, I had managed to complete a few of the starter quests, I had unlocked Jaeger, and I had constructed some of the essentials in my hideout. But now I was back to being solo and I had a lot to complete. I had finished debut for Prapper, so he was now sending me to the woods to search for the old USEC camp as well as a lost convoy. The raid had been fairly uneventful and I managed to find both locations for Prapper, so after returning to him, he sent me to customs and search for the bronze pocket watch. I had been rather lucky and I managed to find the key I needed on a scav run so I didn't have to go to the dorms. I geared up with a light kit and went to customs in search of the pocket watch. I spawned near the old gas station and after looting the immediate area, I began moving for my objective. I wanted to avoid the stronghold as I expected resistance in that area, but I ended up running straight into enemy PMCs. How's it going, man? Yeah, um, we want to. I don't want to fight you, buddy. All right, that's cool. I'm running over. Or do you want me to go the other way? 
Okay, hey, we're, we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Us. How's it going? Okay. I'm working on the, the pocket watch. Us. Yeah? Do you guys need the pocket watch? What's that? Oh, no, we just got it. It's already open. Oh, I got you. I've got the key, so I was going to see if I could open it for you guys. Here, take this mask, because I can't wear it. I don't want to hold it. I don't know if you guys want it, but yeah. Best of luck, boys. Appreciate it. All right, good luck to see you. After our little chat, I was back on the move. I was close to the pocket watch at this point, but I had to be careful as there are usually scavs in this area, and there's always a chance of running into more players. The area seemed clear, so I wanted to quickly loot what I could from the two scavs I'd killed. The shotgun and bag were nice, but the real win was the suppressor that I could use with one of my 545 AKs. Now that I had the pocket wash, it was time to leave. My plan was to move for the nearby RUAF extraction point. Before leaving, I wanted to check a body that I knew was in the nearby bushes. It was likely already taken, but there was a chance of snagging an important quest key that I'd be needing soon. Luckily enough, the key was there, and with everything I needed, it was now really time to get out of the area. I thought about looting my scav kills, but with the gunfire just down the road, I wanted to play it safe. After turning the pocket watch in, I took a break and later jumped back on with the same buddy from day one. We both had quests on woods, so we geared up and jumped in. Little did we know we'd be diving headfirst into the most hectic fight of our wipe so far. Our raid began on the east side of the lake, right next to the medical camp. We had to make a quick decision as to whether or not to go in and loot. Well, do you want to you try looting it or you want to you run through? Uh... We need scav kills, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, let's go to med, because I need right. the slew ones, actually. Make sure I'm on auto, yep. Are you around the back? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I I'm was coming like... Through the door. All right, all right. Watching the right side. Okay. While we hastily looted the close side of the camp, my teammate thought he had seen someone out in the field to the uh, south. That side's clear, let's go to the other side. Oh, I see him. Okay, okay. Oh wait, two. Okay. Those are PMCs. Way out. Which uh, direction? Closer to the nuclear towers. Look toward okay, the okay, nuclear okay. towers. I'm going around to the right. Scav nearby. Yep. Scav's dead. Okay. He ate a headshot. Uh, I'm running back in with you. 
I'm gonna heal for a second. While healing, I thought about starting a flank as the PMCs closed in on us. At the tank, you said? Yes, my PMCs okay, way okay. out there, way out. Gotcha. I might try and do a like a long flank into the woods on the left. I would go right along you... the water. Well, I'll have no cover though. That's what I'm, or why I wouldn't go that way. Do you want to try coming with me, like flanking together? Or... I think I just got one. Oh, they're on the rocks. Oh, there's one behind us too. In the blue crate back there. I'm fucked up. Blue crate? Yeah, blue crate, second story behind us. Oh. He's got a sniper rifle, Mosin. Oh, one in the red, red crate as well. Okay, okay. So where are you sandwiched right now between two? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. We might want to take our way. Or leave here. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to, but where we, yeah, this is not a good spot for sure. We were sandwiched between two separate teams. After healing, I moved to back up my teammate against the enemies that were already in the camp. One down. Okay, okay, good job. The one with the most down. Okay. Blue crate. Blue crate. Second Blue story. Blue crate still? again. Yep. Okay. Oh, on the left side. Sorry. Oh, okay. Copy. Copy. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Behind, he's right? dead, he's dead. Okay. One team of two hey, was down, but now we had to deal with the team to the south. We should just push forward into the Oh, woods. I see my team, he's on the rocks. I'm nading it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's on those rocks right now. He's dead. Nice. Fucking good job, dude. Woohoo! What a fight! We, we don't know if we're clear yet, though. We need to be careful. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and get somewhere safe to repack. Gotcha. I'm gonna get behind the fire truck. Gotcha. Right here. But good job. With the immediate threat taken care of, I had to stabilize my wounds and repack my magazines as quickly as possible. Whew. Okay. I got the fucking blood flow. That's like that's the way to start the night right there. Yeah. So what, you killed one way out in the field, one on the rock, and then one in the camp. That's kind of the issue. I don't know about the I can't remember about the one way out in the field. I'm a little worried. Okay. Well, we'll be Our good. issue was that at least one of the potential kills was not confirmed, yeah. so we may I still have an enemy to deal with. Gotcha. And after this, I'll be combat ready. Woo! Oh, shit. Are you good? Uh, shot to the chest. Okay. You know where from? <sighs> Where'd you get shot? Like, where were you standing? Are you on top? Are you on top? No, no, he's what? on top. Towards camo netting, like the, the boxes. Okay. Oh fuck! God damn it! Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I wasn't saying god damn it at you, by the way. Like I hope you know that. It was just the. I know. Yeah. With my teammate dead, it was now up to me to secure the area and make it out alive. The enemy was in a weird spot, and I wasn't sure how to approach the fight. This guy, I don't even know how you get up here. Or to where he's at, you know? Uh, 762 by 54R. Okay. It's a Mosin. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. I had had some poor trigger discipline and my positioning wasn't the best and it had really cost me. 
Looking back, I should have been more precise with my shots instead of relying on suppression. In addition to that, I really should have stuck to cover more towards the end of the fight especially. In the end, all you can really do is learn from the situation and let go of the loss. We still had lots to do, so we set out to hunt for loot and kills. Day 3 didn't go well. I only played 3 or 4 raids and I didn't survive any of them. Feeling demoralized, I decided to take a bit of a break, so I let day 4 pass, and on the morning of day 5 I was ready to dive back in. At this point I had built up more of my hideout and I had managed to find all of the Salewas for Therapist. That meant it was time to head to customs in search of water rations for Therapist and her people. Rumor had it that a gang with ties to Skier had been seen moving barrels of water into the dorms, so that's where I'd be headed. I had found a key to one of the rooms on a body, so I brought it with me. I left before the dawn, but I had to be careful. It was almost certain that I wasn't the only one sent out to locate the water. I approached the location from the old gas station. I poked around for a bit and looted what I could, but I was keen on moving to my objective. My path led me through the basement of the power building where I stopped to check for much needed medical supplies. Once I had picked the basement clean, I moved up to the ground level and went outside. There was a large wall blocking my path. I didn't have the key to the gatehouse, so I had to climb it using a car and a porta potty. My legs caught a bit on the wire, but it was nothing serious, so I pushed on. As I began my approach of the dorms, I planned on jumping in through the back window. It would leave me pinned inside the bathroom, but it felt safer than the other entrances.
With the first floor secure, I wanted to quickly search through all the loot before resuming the search for the water. It seemed like the PMC I had killed had taken care of the aforementioned scav gang, but I wasn't out of the woods yet. While sorting through the loot, I listened carefully to my surroundings, as audio is often the first clue of danger. As soon as I had reloaded and stopped my bleeding, I fell back to a more defensible position in case my most recent visitor had friends. I was once again alone, so I moved back out into the main hallway to continue my looting. After taking a quick peek, I returned to my bag and grabbed a few of the big items from my kill. I then moved everything deeper into the building so that I could sort through it all safely. I went back hoping to squeeze extra loot into a rig, and I also finished checking the rest of the scavs and sorting through the items. It was finally time to find the water. I moved upstairs and did a little clearing before unlocking the door. Sure enough, a stockpile of water was here. There was one last room I wanted to loot. I checked the safe and threw this cat figurine into my bag as it was the last thing I needed to trade for a documents case. My plan was to leave at the car exit, so I moved back upstairs and cautiously moved down the hallway to reach the exterior staircase. I made it outside, paid the driver, waited until he was ready, and made it out in one piece. Therapist was pleased, and she even gave me some of the water retrieved from the dorms as a thank you. I'd upset Skier though, so I wanted to do a little work for him to stay in his good graces.
I forked over some flash drives to settle things, but he wanted more. Skier sent me back to the dorms to secure a special lighter and move it to a nearby safe house for him. On my journey to the dorms, I ran across a fellow weary traveler. What's up, man? Whoa, whoa. Bro, why are you shooting at me for, dog? Hey, you scared me. Bro, hey, we can chill, we can chill. Guys, right? I got you, what's up, man? We're good, we're good. How's your, how's your wipe going, man? It's been trash, huh? Yeah, here, let's, let's get down out of the... For like the last fucking five raids, bro. Damn, do you have a quest for it or something? Yeah, it's fucking the, the fucking, uh, is it yay or no? It's the Jaeger one, where you have to get all the bolt action kills. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yeah, it's part six. It's fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, bro. damn. Never want to spawn in yeah, you're way farther than I am. <laughs> I'm doing the uh, gold it's, pocket watch, it's or not pocket watch, uh, lighter. Oh, golden zibo? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have to do that shit too. Yeah, I've got the key. You want to do it right now? Oh, fuck. Let's go. Let's go, though. All right, let's do it. And just like that, we were in this together. We got you, Cody. Sweet. All right, right there on the table. Thanks, honey. Yes, sir. After securing the lighter, the two of us began our journey across the map to the safe house so we could stash the item for skier. <laughs> so did you hear about the fucking, uh, the ADS glitch? No, I haven't heard anything about that. So, pretty much all it is, is your ADS. After a few moments of silence, I was starting to wonder what was going on. W what's the glitch? If you can hear me, I can't hear you right now. I don't know if you're talking. Oh, I'm fucking retarded. I'm fucking retarded. I didn't have my push to go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck, I'm burnt. Anyways, we made it across the map successfully and hit our lighters, so we went to extract and went our separate ways. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for teaming up, man. Yep. With my work for Skier done for the time being, I called it a day. By this point, my hideout was actually starting to look like a hideout. I had completed most of the beginner quests, and I had managed to acquire some essential items, including a scav junk box and a documents case. The last two days of my first week were spent with my brother, who recently got his first PC and is brand new to Tarkov, so he had a lot to learn. Luckily, I was there to show him the ropes, and rather than go through all of it, I'd like to touch on a few of my favorite moments from our time playing together. First up is the raid that I think really got him hooked. We were on woods working on the search mission task, so we had already hit up the convoy and had moved up to the USEC camp to complete the task for him when things took an unexpected turn. Nades on us. Someone in front of us. I'm throwing my nades. Close steps. Yeah. Close. Yeah, he's real close. Like, other side of the tent, maybe. Stay on your side of the tent and hold the left side. I'm holding the right side on the right side of the tent. Stay behind the tent. After a short stalemate, we pushed up together to clear the camp out. Pushing towards the mesh area. Yeah, I see you. It's empty. The fuck, where'd this guy go? I don't like this. Yeah, he's probably like in a bush or something. So I don't think I killed him with a nade. I really doubt it. 
With no sign of the enemy, we packed up and left the camp, looping down the side hill to avoid an ambush at the main entrance. As we moved to Xville, I wanted to check one last spot. Yeah, didn't he? He could be on, on, like, if he did back off, he might be on this hill that we're running up to. We'll see. Is that not you in front of me? No, that's you, that's you. Yeah, he's over the hill, over the hill. He's down. Okay, good job, good job. I'm fucked up though. Did you kill both of them? I might have, yeah. It had been absolute chaos, but he managed to snag his first ever PMC kill. After I finished healing up, we each looted one of the dead PMCs. Drop your bag. Um, like, in this bush. Yeah, exactly. Just somewhere where you absolutely know you'll be able to find it. And we can just go over there and, and, and take the bags off those guys' backs and search them in, in safety. I'm going you get to... that one? I'll get one on the rock. Oh, they te one of them team killed the other one, I think. Actually. Really? I'm pretty sure. Uh, what's that guy's name? And yeah, stay low. X to watch. Yep, they TK'd on accident. <laughs> <laughs> you can quickly search his pockets if you want to down there, but I wouldn't stay out in the open like that too long. Unfortunately, we didn't get to fully finish looting as we were running out of time and we were both out of food and water. Uh, I'm guessing it was in his rig then? Yeah. Okay. Damn, his rig is full. Yeah, that's survival kit. Um... I don't know, you can take that. We, we might not even get to do a whole lot of looting here. We might just have to leave, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got my stuff. I can just go ahead and book it. You know? Yeah, start, know. start running down the road to the left here. And I will join you in just a the moment. One, the one where the guy died on the rock, that road? Yeah, like, yeah, come towards me. I met the guy that died on the rock. Um, up and down. I done okay. to the left. But... Yep, go down to the left. With our victory loot in hand, we began the long journey to Xville. Uh, go more left towards the concrete wall. Yeah, no smoke. We, no we smoke. just have to pass it. You gotta keep going down the wall. Are you like completely dehydrated? Yeah, I'm out of water right now. My okay. vision's starting to get black. Shit. Yeah, keep coming. Uh, start healing while you're walking. Like, press your, like, whatever button you have your healing to. How are you doing? Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, not okay, but like, as, yeah, uh, as, yeah. as I can be doing right now. Yep. How close are we? We're close. I'm almost on a med kit. Yeah, it's fine. Here's the truck. You can run up to this grass and just lay down. Are you- Jeez. I'm in. Yeah, okay. And just like that, he got a taste of how good this game can be. Our very next raid ended up being action-packed and more intense than the last one. We went back to woods to hunt for loot and scav kills, and we would end up getting much more than we bargained for. A 
Ooh, wow. I just found a really good item. That I would like to survive with, because I can't put it in my secure container. Ooh, scoped. Uh, no, it's a 60 round magazine for an M4. So it's just, it's just rare and, uh, you need it for some quests, so. I have a gun for you, though. After getting him his gun and preparing to leave, we were jumped by an enemy PMC out of nowhere. Where's the guy? Where? You see him yet? Yeah, I'm jumping at him. He's, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Back up to the bunker, back up to the bunker. I hear you, like, fucked yeah, up. I'm, 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 uh, Once my brother had finished yeah, healing, yeah. I pushed out to the road to see if there was anything worth taking from my kill. Don't come out with me, stay in the tree line. back really fast we sorted through the loot and pushed across the road to a small cabin in the woods to our right scav that's him okay. behind trees didn't cover yeah yeah i don't see him right now he's inside the inside the cabin let's push towards him After making so much noise, I wanted to get out of the area as fast as possible. Okay. Are you alive? Alive. Okay, I was up to our left. I, don't know. I think that was at us, I thought. Yeah, I think it was too. I feel like that might have been a grenade launcher. Let's back up and loop right. Loop to the right? Yeah, loop to the right towards the towards the towards the lake. We're gonna go up up the lake. Uh, we still have to move forward, so. I'm down to your right right now. Yeah, I got you. Up up left, there's someone. I hear footsteps. Okay. I don't know which one. He's uh, he's still up the hill. Up left or up right? Up left, up left, like hard left. Where that grenade was yeah, just yeah. now. I don't think I killed him. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. Oh, there's a scab up there now. Maybe. Is that you shooting just now? No. Scab's dead. Scab's dead. Maybe there's another one. Maybe the PMC died, actually. I'm coming back towards you, because I don't want us to get friendly fired here. Yeah, yeah. I just got shot. The PMC's still up, for sure. This is me, this is me. Okay, yeah, yeah. push up, up the lake or oh, hold, hold on. on yeah let's go up the lake and check my health we decided to disengage and continue moving for our exit 
We paused before crossing the sawmill to repack mags and do some light healing. Yeah. Okay. At least the, the oh, in front first. of us on the beach, oh, on the yep, beach. I see him, I see him. We need to move, move, move. Move up to the left, maybe. Man, my arm is so bad, it's, I, can, I can hardly aim. Keep going left with me. We repositioned so that I could do surgery and the PMC moved past us down by the lakeshore. So we took this as an opportunity to cross the sawmill. I doubt he's gonna wait there to shoot at us, but we'll see. Yeah. Right as we finished catching our breath, we spotted a player scab blocking our path. We'll wait here for a second. There's a guy across. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, By I saw the him. Uh, I saw him. green cart thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three push. Do you want to go to the left a little more? I don't see where he went. He's on the road. I can see him. We can take a shot right now. Do it. Okay. Wait, now he's moving towards us. In the trees and the bushes right now. I'm moving out towards him right now. On the left. He's dead, he's dead. I got him, I got him. Okay, come to me, come to me. That was a player I'm scab. Coming. That scab is coming back towards us. I see him though. Don't worry about it. I don't know if he's still alive or not, but he ran the other way, so. Oh, he's dead. All right. We kept moving, and after killing a scab or two on our way, we made it to Xville and safely returned home. It turns out I actually killed that PMC in the woods. Maybe I had missed out on some gear, but either way, it had been a fun raid and a big win for both of us. And that brings us to our final cool moment of week one. My brother and I decided to go all in with our best gear, so we both had brought out M4s and tier four armor, meaning that the stakes were high. Once again, we were on woods searching for loot and kills. My brother had killed the sniper scav, but his body had fallen off the mountain, so we moved down to grab it. At some point, we're supposed to be able to actually climb ropes and ladders and stuff. That moment when you're God, you can just pull yourself up 300 pounds, you know? <laughs> yeah. We could possibly loot the scaffold. That's what I'm. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. In front, uh, along this rock wall. I got him. He's dead. It was a PMC. There could be more though. We move it. on the rock wall to the right. Yeah, yeah. Be careful though. With one PMC confirmed dead, we moved over the hill to secure the area and loot. Okay. Um, um, clear down in the valley. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. I think. Okay, there's three bodies here. I think. Yeah, there's three bodies here. I see your sniper scav. I'm gonna lay down and loot the guy that I got. My brother was on the hill behind me in the trees, so I felt safe enough to quickly loot my kill as well as the dead mystery PMC and sniper scav. Right in front of us, that's right in front of us. On the rock, uh, cliff face. I'm fragging it. I sit down, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down yeah. Shoot at him if you can. Nice, good yeah. work, good work, good work. Is there more? Ah, uh, that's all I, all I saw. Okay. Good work, dude. You saved my life right there, I'm not even kidding. Now that we had each gotten a kill, I brought some loot up to him and we both moved down to loot what was left. I'm 
from moving up to the guy that you killed. Yeah. Oh, there's two. There's two dead guys here. Two PMCs dead here. Should I move down? Or yeah, move to me. Move here? to me. Uh, come up and lay down on this guy that you killed and loot him. Loot the grass? Yep, right there. Holy shit. It had been a really fun engagement and we both had some nice gear to show for it. In the end, we successfully made it to Exfil with little to no issue. And that is how the first week of my wipe went. To summarize, I spent pretty much all of my time progressing the main quest lines, building up my hideout, making money, playing with friends, and leveling up so that I could get access to better gear. I don't know the exact stats, but in the end, I played around 30 or so raids and managed to kill about 20 PMCs and 40 to 60 scavs. I, of course, wanted to dive headfirst into the new map, and I got to play a few raids of it on day one, but in the end, I spent most of my time getting into a more stable situation so that I could confidently explore the map in the future. I still haven't seen an actual map of the area, and I've purposefully avoided everything about streets, as I have a big project in mind for the future. With all that being said, I want to take a minute to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. A ton of work went into it, and uh, hopefully it shines through. Uh, if you'd like to support me in this channel, please consider leaving a like and comment on this video as it helps a ton with YouTube's algorithm and it's completely free to do so. Uh, in the past, I've had a few people ask about a Patreon, so I finally went ahead and made one. It is uh, still pretty bare bones at the moment and I'll do some work to add features as time goes on. You can support me with as little as $3 a month, and of course you can always cancel it whenever you'd like. But again, just being here to watch is already so much more than I could ask for, and it, it means the world to me, so thank you so much. I also want to thank my Discord moderators, Disturb, Slid, and Emperor. You guys have made the Discord side of things so much easier for me, and I really appreciate it. I also want to thank everyone who's actively in the Discord. You guys are great, and I appreciate you being a part of the community. Uh, while we're on the subject, my Discord server is completely open to everyone. If you want to just find people to play Tarkov with, talk to me, or just have people to chat with in general, it's uh, completely open. You'll find a link in the description or in the About section of my channel. Um, I think that's about it though. I'm sure I'm missing something, but uh, what can you do? Anyways, I have a lot planned for the future, so stick around because more videos are on the way. And once again, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Remember to take care of yourself and have a good night.